you, 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 you. What's good, y'all, man? We got Gina, Gina Ortega, Lee Screen 7. I heard about it on Twitter, though, man, but I don't know what's for. Her, so, hey, we're going to check it out and see why, why is he leaving Screen 7. He talking about, you know what I'm saying, is a, is a franchise dead. So, I mean, that's what the 3 film talking about. You feel me, man? But we're going to see what's going on with Screen 7. J -J -J I'm going to call it J.O. J.O. Lee Screen 7. We're going to see what's going on. But, um, yeah, like it was said. Yeah. I say yeah. I say yeah. Ella Mahar Movie Peeps, appreciate you clicking on this video. At this point, I have no idea who at all has interest in watching Scream 7. While yesterday we got the major shocking news that Melissa Barrera had been let go of Scream 7, our Sam Carpenter, today we also got the news that now Jenna Ortega, Tara Carpenter, has... A lot, yeah, a lot of people told like, yeah, Scream 7 gonna make zero dollars. Left Scream 7, this franchise is in shambles, and I honestly have zero interest now in seeing a Scream movie, which is something I never thought I would say out loud in my life. I'm gonna be going into all the details here, but I need to hear from you guys. Uh, it's been about 24 hours since we last heard the shocking news. My excitement for the seventh film was already low, but after this, I'm just like, what is even the point anymore? Are you sad that we are now not gonna get a continuation and finish of the Carpenter Sisters? Is having Nev Campbell, Sidney Prescott returning as the main lead even something that would save it for you? Really, I'd love to hear it all down below. Uh. Again, keeping politics out of it and just speaking as movie fans, I'd really honestly like to to hear what you say all right so yes yesterday i made a video breaking down the whole melissa barrera situation but a lot has happened since that video i mean we've had the director of scream 7 christopher landon comment on the situation we've had major backlash by the scream fan community fully in support of melissa barrera yeah everybody everybody backing it up everybody going crazy on that on that fire stuff no cap I have yet to see even a handful of fans that are like happy that she's gone. Everybody seems to be pretty upset. And we were kind of just waiting to see Jen Ortega your move we know you're pro palestine and that's something that got melissa barrera fired just for speaking her open opinion on it there was rumors that popped up this morning that jenna ortega was contacting her team to let the studio know she doesn't want to return for scream 7 that she's willing to break her contract and this was just rumors it was literally just like started off on facebook posts but now deadline here confirms it and man hollywood is spinning this like crazy so Oh, she was hurting because of Wednesday shooting Deadline schedule. Was first reported here saying Jenna Ortega not returning for Scream 7 due to Wednesday shooting schedule. And essentially, what the article says here is that Jenna Ortega was never going to return to Scream 7. That in fact, months ago, yeah. before the Hollywood strike happened, there was already conversations that Jenna Ortega was just far too busy to be part of Scream 7 because of Wednesday and other opportunities uh, in Hollywood that she wasn't going to be part of it. And in fact, mm. if you read a little deeper, it also says she's willing to be part of Scream 7 if Spyglass offered her a little bit more money. But uh, we know Spyglass. If an actress just happens to have the bravery to say, hey, I'm worth something in your franchise, can you pay me that worth? They're like, no, thank you. Bye, Jenna. Bye, Nev. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah. That's what they do. But you gotta admit, the timing of this all is rather suspicious and is not a coincidence at all. I think even if Spyglass was willing to pay Jenna Ortega the money and they were gonna find the time and the schedule for her to be part of Scream 7, which we were already hearing rumors that Jenna Ortega's role wasn't even gonna be that big in the film because she is busy, there was still no way she was gonna be part of the film after what they did to Melissa Barrera and how they shoehorned her out of the franchise when Jenna Ortega also believes in the same thing. This just feels like an obvious PR stunt and way to spin it as in, oh no, it's not because of all this, you know, controversial stuff. Mm. She's, just, she's so popular. She's busy with Wednesday and Netflix. We don't want to bother her. We'll just try and make this screen movie out of scraps. And well, this is where we are now. We have lost the Carpenter sisters as part of the Scream franchise, and I am devastated. Like, I was already heartbroken whenever I heard the news with Melissa Barrera, but after sleeping on it and seeing all the fan outcry, along with all of Melissa Barrera. Man, it was trending. <laughs> statements and her just being nothing but civil and a caring sweet person it just is so upsetting what they did to her and with the way the franchise was heading like why would i have an interest to see a seventh movie i love jasmine savoy brown i love mason gooding but seeing only half of the core four return that's not exciting 
exciting. There was so much left to the Carpenter sister storyline that I was like waiting to see, like we never even got the chance to meet the mom. Christina Carpenter was a character I was most looking forward to and being part of Scream 7 and that dynamic with the sisters and what that could mean for the franchise, the connection she maybe had with Sydney back mm. in high school, like all of that, that set up, that lore you've built up, gone, useless, never going to be touched upon again. It's the way Spyglass has just killed the excitement for this new Scream movie amongst the majority of fans. Look, I don't blame you if you're still someone's like, yeah, but I mean, if Nev Campbell's back and she's a star, I guess I'll watch it. Look, I, I understand not everybody's as pissed at this situation as like me or other people. But for me personally, like it really has gotten to a point now where tomorrow Spyglass can say, yep, Nev Campbell is our star. We gave her the money she deserved. And you know what? Matthew Lillard, Stu's coming back, guys. And yo, we worked out a deal with Universal. Michael Myers is going to cameo in the movie. My excitement would not go high for this movie. I have been begging for someone like Stu to come back, Matthew Lillard to be in that role, Neff Campbell to get her moment in the spotlight again, but mm. after this, I just have a really, really bad taste in my mouth. I cannot fully see myself supporting and buying a ticket, giving my money to Spyglass after the BS they just pulled with these actresses. The statement Spyglass released, I don't even want to bother reading because it was extremely tough. Spyglass is totally behind the screen fine. I have released a statement to find the fire. Yeah, zero times for that. Hmm. Including false reference. Hmm. Damn. Own deaf and just entirely paints a bad picture of Melissa Barrera that is not accurate. Even the director, Christopher Landon, attempted to comment on the situation. And I know his heart was in the good place. And I'm not trying to blame him because this wasn't his decision. If it was up to him, I'm sure he wanted to have all the important Scream characters part of Scream 7. And he said here, this is my statement. Heartbreak emoji. Everything sucks. Stop yelling. This was not my decision to make. It's the stop yelling part that's kind of like, ah. Uh, I don't know if you should have added that, Christopher Landon. Like, no, fans should not stop yelling. Fans should not stop being upset at what they did to Melissa Barrera because it's an injustice. But again, I'm not putting too much blame on him because I know this wasn't a decision he wanted to have happen to the movie. Like, the guy got the opportunity to direct a Scream movie. He's a gigantic horror fan. This was a dream come true. It'd be like if someone let me direct a Chucky or Nightmare on Elm Street movie, I'd be up and down. And then this behind the scenes drama happens. I he deleted it too. Really uh, I would not it. be surprised if Scream 7 just ends up getting canceled altogether. If this is just a headache that Spyglass doesn't want to deal with, that I just don't see how you spin this around to where people will be excited. Every time you announce something for this movie, whether it's a great actor or actress attached, or this person possibly in the killer, even a cool trailer, the conversation will always. Mm, yeah, they're gonna be robbing that whole situation. If they do a travel, she's doing anything. Lead back to look what you did to Melissa Barrera and how awful the studio heads are for this. And again, I just bring it back seeing all the immense support and outcry. The heart her community and even Scream fans in general, it's a beautiful community. I love making Scream updates for you guys, talking about these movies with you guys because y'all are amazing people. And it's even proven more so with just what's been happening online the petitions, the outcries, everything. People are not only wanting to boycott Scream 7, but they're looking at Spyglass's previous works. And man, they put out some bangers. They had the Hellraiser movie on who? Oh, they do. They just given too. That movie they just given. That was they just came out right today. This week. This week coming out this week. Right. Or being came out. I just really enjoyed the Scream franchise. Like they were literally set to have my money for all of time if they kept producing that kind of fun horror movies. And now I just I don't feel right wanting to talk about these films and celebrate them. There's still like a 2% hope in my heart that like Spyglass will come out, apologize for the situation, rehire the sisters, make the seventh movie the way they intended, because now they're definitely working that entire script. Your two lead stars are now gone from the movie. You're not telling me we're getting the same Scream 7 we were about to get a couple of months ago. This script is entirely getting reworked, and I fully bet they're going to throw a truckload at Nev Campbell because she's the only thing that would keep a hardcore fan base of the Scream people. And again, I want to make it clear. I'm not calling you a bad person or saying you're wrong. If you still are excited and want to support Scream 7 and see it because of Nev Campbell, 
I get it, man. Th these are movies we love. They bring us comfort. You want to watch them. I don't think anybody should shame anybody for wanting to see one of their favorite film franchise. He heck, I'm always someone that's always like, oh, come on, boycotting a movie that's so dumb. But this is one of those times where it, like, it really hits me and it makes me mad. All I do know is the only way you'll have the entire fan base again by your side is if it's another studio making these movies. And I don't mean Paramount. I mean Spyglass not being attached. Because I do want to mention for a lot of people, you know, yelling at Paramount, they're just the distributors. People have reached out to Paramount to comment on the situation. And Paramount has just been saying it's all Spyglass's decision. We have nothing to do with it. So we'll really have to see. Uh, maybe they reboot the franchise now, or maybe somewhere 10 years mm. down the line, we do get a new owner and they pick up the story again and try to start a new trilogy it's so funny to me that this is like a scream curse you know scream 4 was supposed to be the start of a new trilogy wes craven and kevin williamson a trilogy i desperately wanted to see but sadly that didn't happen then we thought we were about to get it here with scream 5 6 and 7 and now it looks like 7 is dead in its tracks and they're gonna have to start fresh no way you can coherently tell us a good narrative going from scream 6 to 7 with a brand new star a brand new cast a brand new idea and story so i don't know it's a devastating as scream fans this is never the thing i want to talk about and discuss i just want to enjoy these movies and i know after things cool down and we get more details maybe i'll start to get slightly excited for it because it is screaming ghostface after all but right now the bad taste in my mouth just makes me want nothing to do with this movie I throw it off to you guys, you hear all these news and the aftermath of it, the outcry from fans, what do you think should happen? I'd love to hear it all down below, don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at 3C Films or on TikTok at 3C Films, but as always, I'm Chris, take care. Hello my heart. Hey man, it's crazy, but scream, scream people, freaking fans, it's crazy, they, they left two actors, well, one left and then one got five, that's crazy though man, don't care. That's crazy though, man. Man, like it up, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comment down below. Let me know, y'all. And, um, yeah. Uh, yeah.